Luna, you're first. What a surprise. Shocked. <laughs> surprise. All right. Hi, Luna. I mean, it gets the ad. That's the point. To get the ads out of the way. It's gonna be good for an hour. Hi, Nadia! Wow, three pushings, huh? to learn about Lunchables? Well, now I'm intrigued. Now here's the ads and actual ads. mostly passed over by now. Mostly. Oh. I forgot coffee. We're gonna stream without coffee again. <laughs> I was, right, getting those cakes all over the place. Oh, look, Bakamura, I've still got some ginger candy left. Oh, I can't, you can't look, you can't see, because no one can see. Eh, I don't need it. I don't need it. Fight. Fight. I'm good. Uh... I was just like looking at my desk. I'm like, wait, I still these. These are the the ones with the weird ginger creature. I still have some. Yes. I was just just looking at my desk to make sure there's like nothing that won't last a month in here with the AC off. Um, hi, yeah, so we had a big old thunderstorm. I was, there were a couple that, that made me jump and it was like crack lightning thunder instantly. It was like, well, that's right above us. That's kind of cool. Oh, I love Australian licorice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much fucked off right now. There's like a little bit of rumbling in the distance, but. It was just like a little bit northwest of us and no it's sweet but it's a different texture to the the stuff that you get here it's
plant. Oh yeah, it's really good, Nanya. <laughs> oh, wait. Whoa, that's weird. There's like nothing between the eyeballs. That was curious. Nicely done. Almost like a perfect 50. Just, just eyeballs. Could have been nothing between the ears. That's true. Yeah, it was... So normally our storms kind of where we are, they move kind of in a, a northeast direction. And we were just on like the, the southern edge of the storm front. But we have had a direct strike here before. Um, and it went, it grounded through our uh, internet connection. <laughs> uh, we had a storm and we, we felt it, like you could feel like the tingle in the ground. Um, and then it happened. Um, and our internet was just like gone. And when the technician came out, he like cut the cable in half and showed us. And like the inside is supposed to be white and it was black. It had just melted entirely from like our house to the tap. Yeah, it was a really bad storm that one. It was bonkers. I forgot to pick a playlist without audio, uh, without vocals. Hopefully it's okay. I can... I can kill the vocals if you need to. It, it's weird, Luna, right? Like... Things get zappy or whatever? Go figure. Honestly, I was kind of excited. Yeah, we had, um, I can't remember if it was the Comcast tech or someone else, but they had, uh, their motorbike in the, in like a, what's it like called? It's not a garage. Carport, like in a carport, and he said the whole, like the all the electrical wiring in his bike was fried from that storm. It was just like we saw three ground strikes within a mile of driving home. No, you got to keep the magic smoke in. We were driving driving west, and you, I could see it, ground strike, like sustained ground strikes. I was just like, Ooh, angry sky pixies. Um, yeah. Uh, we went to Tripoli for lunch. We were... I have this thing. I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, and I make, I make the burrito bowls at home and it tastes, they taste pretty good. They taste similar, I think. Um, but there's just, I don't know. There's something about Chipotle that I just really enjoy. It's like, I like that I can come away feeling full, but not like over full. Yeah, that's what I get. We get the bowls rather than burritos. And I make it at home too as well. I use the Instant Pot to do the chicken. And then I do the use the rice cooker to make the rice. And they come out pretty good. But there's, yeah, there's just something about them. We were gonna go try. Uh, there's a barbecue place that was that we've not been to nearby. Um, but I looked at the menu and the pricing, and I'm like, no. This was like a. I thought it was gonna be like Sunny's, um, which I think maybe only Ali would know about. All right, you got it, Nania. Um, but we went in, and it was like, it wasn't like Sunny's at all. Um, and their pricing was like astronomical. I mean, for me, I'm pretty cheap. Um, but it was like $14 for like a pulled pork sandwich. And if you wanted a drink and a side, it was an extra $5.50. I'm like, I'm not paying 20 fucking dollars 
for a barbecue sandwich. Like, it's just not, it's not happening. <laughs> and it, that's crazy, right? So I was like, you know what? No, <laughs> we're, we're going to Chipotle. <laughs> I'm too cheap. For the price of one sandwich, Flint and I had lunch. And I was able to bring his mum something as well. Just crazy. <laughs> so, like, maybe it's real. Like, maybe they have really good product. But I'm not. I'm not willing to pay that much. Like, the cheapest thing on the menu was like thirteen dollars. I was like, no, I'm good. Okay. Um, also saw a frog last night that was very excited. I was I was excited. The frog was probably more concerned by this giant human thing. But it stayed still. It may have been frozen with terror. It was really cute. It was like I went to take a photo of it and it was like looked up at me like Oh. And then it just, yeah, but it let me take a picture. Like I took ages to get my phone out so I could take a picture. Meanwhile, Flint's in the car. Like, what is she doing? But I was happy to see a frog. And 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 I got some more big jobs done today. I love I love when we get little tiny tree frogs they get on our kitchen window when we have the light on I guess they're looking for, for moths but you can like you can see through their tummies and it's just so cute with their little feet with the, the little like the same with lizards the little like round toes their beans their sticky toe beans and their translucent bellies. I love it. We have a lot of frogs here at the moment. Um, yeah, they're little sucky beans. Maybe I shouldn't say that. So I... I still haven't really... Oh, actually no, I did knock off some stuff on my list. like a cross off I did I have done some stuff on my list of preparation like some important things including sending off some faxes because apparently the government in this country still requires faxes for things which is ridiculous I forgot I wanted to go to Dollar Tree But that's okay, I can do that when I'm up and away. So... I, I wasn't sure what we were going to do today. My brain is just like... Dude, I don't know, Luna! Maybe Ohio is like a Q-tip desert. Do they even know what a Q-tips are in Ohio? Luckily, we're going to be stopping, uh, spending a night or two at uh, Sadie and Sal's family's place in Georgia. I'm pretty sure they have Q-tips in Georgia, so I can like stock up and then maybe sell them in Ohio. Hey, Bakma, you want to buy some Q-chips? Yeah. I literally unpacked a bunch of, like, shampoo and conditioner and body wash because Sadie and Sal and Time Wanderer and Jesse are all like, you know we have all that stuff, right? I'm smug- No! It's a legitimate business.
yeah they're all like you can get that stuff here you don't need to pack it and i'm like but what if what if somehow we end up stranded in the middle of the desert somewhere between florida and ohio because there's so many deserts in between and there's an emergency and i need a q-tip for something like what if you pack your yeah see i'm not i'm not too fussy about shampoo and conditioner but i'm still just like unsure about body wash because i really like my body wash and it's not fancy it's literally just ivory brand i just really like it oh yes i forgot yeah that makes sense luna i have i have many snacks to take i'm gonna have like my luggage which won't be much and then i'm gonna have like a larger bag which is craft stuff and then an even larger bag which is gonna be snacks yeah i do get antsy to there's there's some things i will always travel with and snacks and water is absolutely them as well as sanitary products because you know tampons make great fire starters of the cotton you can shred them up and they're good for starting fires everyone needs snacks i am i'm gonna take some of my popcorn they this is exactly you've got to be prepared for the zombie zom, zombie zombie apocalypse too but these things are useful and they're you know they're in like sanitary pouches um so I'm good. Like I was gonna start packing properly today, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow because otherwise I'm just gonna end up double thinking, extra thinking things, and double thinking and overthinking. Well, it make I mean it totally makes sense, right? And if you can find things that have to take with you that have more than one purpose, even better. um so yeah i've been slowly like writing lists and then adding to it and crossing things off i have obs and streamerbot put onto a flash drive and i i'm pretty sure because i just copied the whole lot over um that all i'm gonna have to do is like redirect everything in streamerbot to the the asset folder in the thumb drive and it should be good to go. Fingers crossed. And if it's not, it's fine. It is. But I, I mean, I have like, yeah, cause, cause you don't really need one and a half pounds of like gummies when you're going on a flight. maybe one and a half pounds of q-tips that's true um i can't decide if i want to take the switch up or not i'm gonna add that on my list and decide about it i'm not returning no i'm definitely not returning with one and a half pounds of gummies I don't know if I should take up my switch or not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was like, I don't know what to do today. My brain, I'm so scatterbrained. And like, because of the storm. Oh. I don't know. This sounds like something worth investigating. I mean, we have some special gummies down here, but they all taste weird and make me feel sick. I don't think that's the kind of gummy you're talking about, though. 
I'm pretty sure you can get those in Ohio too. But I have like all those bags of like kettle corn. Oh, chocolate. Oh man, I must say when I when I used to visit um, Alabama, we have. Uh, I hesitate to call them family. We have relations in uh, Dothan, Alabama. That's a place. Um, but one of the things good that came out of that place is there were these, like, I don't know, like a coven of grannies who would make these, like, seven layer chocolate cakes with, like, a. A, like a really rich chocolate fudge frosting and I used to just call it chocolate Alabama cake but they are so amazingly delicious like incredibly decadent God, great. well that you know <laughs> that it was actually like it was labeled as like made basically by like grandmothers I like, you know, come come together to start a business to make to sell these cakes. And my head just put it together as a coven. But they were that was a good cake, and I've not had anything that tastes even vaguely similar. It is all the cake so i i figure we can just like work on the crochet and bs about stuff like a normal sunday but and and I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, this is this is my last stream. I'm getting picked up on Tuesday. So. Wow, Flynn must really be enjoying that game. Um, I, yeah, I am. I am going to work. I'm gonna run away to sell Q-tips in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I, he, I only, I thought he was only gonna play it for a little while yesterday because he got, picked it up through, uh, Deirdrop. And like, he played it all stream. Ali, do we... I've only just noticed your cake badge. Maybe because we were talking about cake. I don't have cake. I have a raging wolf helm. No idea what the fuck that is from. How come I don't have cake? I'm sure you've had it for ages and I've just never noticed it. <laughs> Hot stickers? Right, because Wednesday's your birthday, right, Luna? Also, if Stu pops in today, I don't know if he will, but it's Stu's birthday. Um, but I don't know if, uh... Hello, welcome! Thank you for the follow! I don't know if, uh, he's doing family stuff today. Yeah, as opposed to the other weird Reddit thing, Buckman. Um... 
I have these, wait. Etch on my nail. Gluten free pot stickers. I'll be dumping her over the wall. Sounds really good. I love pot stickers. I will fuck up a large plate of pot stickers without any problems. Gladly. With joy in my heart, I will devour pot stickers. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know about the switch. I don't even use the switch normally. I hope it does work and I hope you can post lots of pictures, Luna. Molly posted about it last year. I had to watch streams of people doing a weird Reddit collage thing. And you got cake. I feel like I... I'm so disappointed I didn't get cake. Okay, so I figure we can start with this, which, you know, it was supposed to be my travel project and is already on its way. But you know, at the moment, the rows are really short, so. Uh, it's not a big, a, a, a big thing, but. You know, it'll take longer as we get further up. It is. It is the rose at rose at the end, yes. Hi, Beard. Alright. So yeah. Um doing some doing some crochet. Sneak and craft stream of the week. Um and uh then we say maybe we'll do some like Power simulator. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you can. Crow the. We're gonna crow the heck out of that shay. We're gonna crow that shay so fucking hard. It's not gonna know what's hit it. It's gonna get hooked. Um. Also, I'm like a bit of a mess. I literally like got out of the shower, 
put my hair up on a bun. I didn't even brush it, so I'm like a complete mess today. My hair is clean, I was just... I was very focused on food. I got out of the shower, got dressed and said to Flint, I need, I need Chipotle. And then we got out, went out. So I have done nothing. I'm just mess. You can dog her. Yeah. The problem is though, it's still wet. So by the time I when I end stream and take it out, it's still gonna be damp. And it's not good to have your hair wet all the time. It can get like gross really fast. Oh, excuse me. Oh man, I got a steam key for a game that I wanted to play, but the embargo lifts on Wednesday. Oh! As is. That's so frustrating. Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I just can't make content for it. Uh, a game called Terror Escape. Um, it's like I don't know if you remember, uh, Dwarf Romantic, which was like a little like map building game with hexagonal tiles, and you had to like line up like different resources. Um, it's kind of like that sort of thing with different tiles coming up as like random rolls, but it's a city builder. And I've had it on my wish list since I first saw it announced last year. And they emailed me yesterday going, would you like a key? And I was like, oh, yes, please. Um, but apparently I can't release any 1.0 content until... Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., which isn't going to exist. So I may have to talk to Dean about. No, that. Oh. I have to figure something out. I mean, it's fine. They, these are all just like you can have a key. There's very rarely any obligation there oh though they're offering some extras maybe just it looks like a really interesting game uh, we have a link in here Don't you autoplay. This is it here. It just looks really... It, it just looked fascinating. Okay. Um, so shall we crow the shay then? Also, for anyone who missed it, we did actually get two chickens and a rooster last night in Vintage Story. I don't want to crow about it, but we caught a rooster. Sorry, I'll see myself out. Uh, but yeah, we got it. So here is... Um, very exciting looking. Got them farm animals. Very, very exciting project. It is 
It is so drapey right now. It's ridiculous. Camera, would you stop auto-focusing, please? Why are you doing that? All right. Be gone. Auto-focus and auto-exposure. And white balance. Hello? Why are you being like that? It's <laughs> like, where is Dorito? It is too big. Dorito is too large for camera. Is it too dark now? I turned off automatic exposure and now it's getting funny. It's been very weird. Um, so I thought maybe you do this and then maybe hop over and do something else later. Good night. I've got so many little catches in my nails right now. Yeah. Dear yeah, camera, Luna found the Dorito. I could turn it up, maybe. Turn up the camera light. Oh. oh. Yeah. If in doubt, more lies. Still seems like everything's all oversaturated. Okay, we're not gonna play the game where I futz around with a camera for five hours. Um. So we've got the, I've got my giant skein in my, my, my project bag. <laughs> Every craft stream is a camera foots in stream. That doesn't mean there'll be, yeah, no fun, no fun allowed. They've, oh my God, stop that. Every time I pick up this... My nails are in such bad shape right now. like a little tiny cat on my nails and it keeps on like getting stuck on things so yeah I don't know I I don't I was trying to think of like other things I could work on but my brain's like oh no It's, that's not how this works. Hello, could you focus, please? That's still out of focus. What the heck? Like, I see it getting into focus and then it goes out again. <sighs> Maybe it is a camera. It's gonna be one of them days. 
So this this is my project uh, designed for a holiday stream stuff because it requires no brain so I can be Adele of very little thought. I don't have to count. And there's really only three sets of like or two sets of instructions for each row that I have to remember. Like I have other craft projects I could work on, but I have no interest in any of them right now. The power wash sim was very tempting. Discord, please. <laughs> Fuck my. Oh my god, that's a hundred percent accurate <laughs> in the uh, memes channel. My camera definitely has its own agenda. Both, all both of my cameras have their own agenda. So for some reason, my primary webcam is just like doing a fantastic job at the moment. Like it was really dark for a while and now it's like bright eyed and bushy tailed again. Yeah, I maybe they just haven't had the requisite blood sacrifice. It's been a while since I opened up my PC. That's probably what it is. Sorry, I'm trying not to hold it too close to the camera so it doesn't get out of focus. I was, I was almost, almost tempted as well to do an art stream. But I, I have not had the, uh, the inspiration. Like we did for the last couple with, with the coffee can and here. I can't just, I can't just draw on demand. I must be inspired. I need a muse. Scratcher. Best back scratcher ever. See, look, see, I can't even read the well, one. No, I can't read that, but it's blurry. So we've decided that Daisy is entering her uh, princess and the P stage. She's like a the last few days she's been like a toddler. She's been like really argumentative. Um, so the day before yesterday, it was really hot. Uh, so I went out and I like hosed it, like I I hosed down the the deck, and I gave her a good hose down to make her wet as well. Cause she enjoys playing with the water. And before I did that, I put her, I picked up her blanket to put on the wash so she wouldn't be laying on a wet blanket. And I forgot that it was in the wash and she spent the whole day barking. But like barking in the screen door. We always have a front door open. It's just the screen door is like locked, but we never have the inside door closed. She spent the whole day barking. And Flint's like, what is, what is her problem? Like she's clearly mad at something. 
she had her food, she had her medicine, she had water. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, she's been a princess. Miss Ma'am didn't get her blanket. The second I gave her a blanket, she's like, thank you. Put it down the ground, she just curled up and had to lay down. She needs her blanket. It's like, it's not even a, a comfort thing because like they're really, I just get her the little small, um, like baby size ones whenever I find them at, th at yard sales. I think it's just comfort. Like emotional comfort rather than physical comfort. And she's now taken, like, she she's incontinent. Uh, and now she informs us if she's made a mess on her blanket. Which is good, because it means I know we, I can go out to clean it. But Miss, Miss, Miss Ma'am, last night was fussing. I went out and there was like this tiniest little poo nugget on her blanket. And she was like, my blanket's dirty. Can you fix it, please? There's poo on there. The tiniest, tiniest little poop nugget. Cleared it off. She's fine. Hi, Mel. So now she's she's turned into a fucking like, princess in the pee, except just princess in the poop. She cannot sleep on her blanket if there is a tight. This, this is just like the last three days she's gotten extremely picky about the state of her blanket. She's a very silly girl. Once well, like what well, we could get her some like, uh, like try and find some doormats or something for her that are easy to clean. But she enjoys role, like, she still enjoys playing with the blankets. She wrestles with them still. So it's like, no, she needs her blankets. But it's, it's just, it's her blankie. Silly bugger. But today she was doing her, let's do all of the barks and see which one gets, gets mum out to check on me. not realizing that I have the webcam on her so I can see what she's doing. I can see her testing when she'll do a bark and then look in the door to see if anyone's coming out and then do a different bark. And go through the whole range of them. Which is pretty smart. Right now, she's just snoozing with her blankie. We were, um, Mel, we were showing Pud about Forza Horizon on stream last night. I think, I think we may have triggered some issues. <laughs> yeah, Ali was showing. It did, Pud did turn rabid. Yeah, Ali was showing Pud some of the clips from when I was playing it, and then I played Pud a couple of the trailers, and Pud's like, "Oh, uh, you know, it, when when they try to do OMG, but they miss all the letters, yeah, like that." So it's like, yeah, it was very cute. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if Pud tries to, to oh, Pud gets into Forza at some point. I think they'd enjoy it. Exactly. It's like puts in the channel. <laughs> oh. 
Is a toasty friend. Yeah. Okay. Apparently I'm still messing around with camera settings. This is supposed to be my travel project. But yeah, look how it's so drapey now. This is what we wanted. See? Oh, it's like floppy over my hand. Perfect. I think this is going to end up being quite large. I don't have anything exciting crochet wise to work on though. Just, just this. I was half tempted to work on the cross stitch. Um, but it gave me a headache the other day. So I think trying to like hold it and keep it in, in view of the camera. It was just a bit too much on my neck. So what I'm what I'm trying to do with Daisy right now is I've got a, an app called Nora N O R A and it's like a supposed to be like a baby cam or whatever. So I have the, an app on one phone that's acting as a webcam, and then an app an app on another phone that's monitoring it and it has a, a s system for like two-way microphone kind of thing i just realized she's settled down a lot i i've left the mic open so she can hear me talking it's probably why she's finally stopped being a pain in the ass Also, I need help picking my nails for next time. I haven't done them in ages and I got all the dishes done and I've, I've got the lawns and shit done. So I don't have to worry about like ruining them immediately. I haven't had my nails done in ages. And so I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. Because we've got I was thinking maybe one of these ones. You like the gal the galaxy ones are really pretty. These ones. My nails are so small. <laughs> Hello, welcome. And then I've got these. These kind of remind me of like abalone shells. And I got these around my birthday, but I never used them. I get them in the right place there. I need to hold them closer. Ice cream. I really like these ones. These were my favorites. They're called Starfire. The color is called Starfire. And I absolutely love this one, but I don't have enough for a full set. But I, I mix them with these ones. Pretty. And these ones were fun because the, the ghosties glow in the dark. And I drove everyone nuts with it. I like the pride ones that I have, but my nails are too small for them. So that... 
these ones. Hey, Bill. Yeah, the tree branch ones are really pretty. So these, these are basic. These are three dollars a set. These are basically like stickers, but they're stickers made of nail varnish. So you end up with like fancy looking nails, but you don't have to pay shitloads for a manicure. And then it doesn't matter if they get fucked up from doing the dishes or whatever. And they don't, you don't have to like buff your nails down or put your hands into UV light. And I haven't, haven't had a set on for ages. Bill, you missed a vintage story stream yesterday. We got chickens. I haven't uploaded it yet, actually. YouTube. We got, I got two girl chickens and a rooster. And it took hours because I insist on doing it the hard way. These, these are really fancy. These are from uh, Lillian Fox. And the, it's literally three dollars for a set, and I have small hands, so I can get two uses out of each set. Um, and they have free shipping, so if you happen to, if you're, if you're able to afford it, and like are comfortable risking a few dollars, because I know not everyone is, um, it's worth it for three bucks, I reckon. And I always feel fancy as fuck when I have my nails like that. I, I was, when I was, I was constantly like flashing my nails, like, look, so, I'm so fancy. Yeah, it is free shipping. It takes, it can take like two to three, two to weeks, like 10 days to two weeks, I think, them to arrive. Um, this isn't, this is not sponsored, by the way. I did like one collab with them, but not, not sponsored. I just really like their stuff. Um. Yeah, basically everything is permanently on sale from $10 uh, down to three, but they're always $3. And there's, there's a, a constant rotation. There's lots to pick from too. So big recommend. Um, and you don't need to do anything fancy. I like to do a base coat and a top coat of clear just to make them last longer, but you don't need to. It's just me. Or maybe we'll do my nails later. <laughs> Big fan. Did a server wipe to start everyone off at the same level? Ah. I was, I was pretty excited, dear chickens. I couldn't find any for the longest time. And then like we crossed uh, this little bit of land and hit uh, a lake. And then there were just like chickens everywhere. So many chickens. Like, I don't know, like a dozen of them, like two roosters and a bunch of chickens, bunch of hens. No, I didn't. I uh, placed traps and then got frustrated because in 30 seconds, no one had gone into the trap and then I would break it and put it somewhere else. Um, because I have zero patience. But it did work. And then I got frustrated because I kept on catching the hens and I wanted roosters. But we have finally two chickens, two hens, and a rooster. Uh, so, job done. Yeah, it 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 wasn't. Uh, there was there was no finesse. I could have used the I. I do have the animal cages mod on the server. Um, 
but I didn't realize until after I'd started that it there was an alternative in that mod for getting the chickens. So I just carried on. I was not going to let the chickens defeat me. And we won. And they were already laying too, so I had to remember to park. Um, park? To put the chickens far away from where I like spend most of the time so I don't spook them. Because when they get spooked, they don't lay eggs. So hopefully, I said, no one's been on the server other than me. So time just is like frozen, which is, it has its ups and downs. But yes, I was very, very pleased we finally got the chicken. Oh, it's been an hour already? What the heck? Okay, we have ads starting in 30 seconds. Or a minute. I don't know, my first ad break is always like... Yeah, when I feel like it. Okay, apparently starting in a couple of seconds. I'll see you in a few minutes.
All right. Wait, did it not work for you, Mel? There was someone else that didn't work for the other day and I couldn't figure out why. Did work just missed? Okay. I wasn't looking. I'm so fidgety today. Um, I can't get comfy. I gave Daisy a bath today. And she was so heckin' cute when I was doing it. She doesn't like it if you hose her directly, but if you hose in her direction and then she attempts to eat the water and happens to get wet in the process, that's fine. So we played with the hose and then I like soaped her down and then I was just like digging my fingers in and just like going all like down her back. And, like scrubbing a bit and she was just I was standing behind her and she like tilted her head up and she just like looked at me like dead on in the eyes and then just closed her eyes and was just like oh it was just so cute she was in like a happy happy place because it felt so good getting the scratches Back scratches are pretty good, so I get it. But now I kind of want to do my nail wraps but I'm doing a craft hey it worked You have a custom little doodad. You're so fancy. That's true. I mean, I've done my nails on stream before. It's not the most exciting thing, but... I kind of love the... Um, it doesn't work with BTT vote, uh, BTTV emotes, unfortunately. Um, so you can't drop a cock full of nuts. I kind of like the little mushrooms in the fall theme. I saw they had some other ones, but I was just like, this is really cute. It does, yeah. It'd be great if it worked with BTTV. But 
Yeah, Ollie did it with some uh, like googly eyes before and it looked fantastic. Because the googly eyes are freestanding, so it just looked like the the strings of the parachute were attached to the eyeballs, but there was nothing joining the eyeballs. It was very disconcerting. I don't know if it's been long enough for me to do it again. Yeah. See? There's nothing joining the eyes together. Oh god. <laughs> that one entertains me. Hi, Jackie. You know what? I am. I'm gonna do it. I'ma do it. I'm just gonna do it. Well, I have to do that bit first. I've got a, I still have a 90 second cooldown on it. Okay. Ow! And I haven't done this in ages. My poor little abused hands. Ow. Further abused by me poking at them. Ow. Why are they called orange? Why is it called an orange stick? I'm, I'm pushing my cuticles down, but I'm not going to do it on camera because I know it wigs some people out. I don't want to gross people out. Here it is. There it is. 
Oops. This is really nice hand cream, and I'm sad it's going to run out. I have no idea where it came from. But it's like so nice and soft, and it smells amazing. I just realized I haven't done any sort of... I haven't cared for my hands in a long time. Oh. hand owner. Okay, we'll let that soak it. So we do another row. Hey, go figure. Doing crochet when your hands are slippery with lotion? is kind of tricky it's like it's slippy or something weird I think I'm going to use the full set when I do those because some of them are just like solid black I'm still irritated at the focus. I want it to be like clear and easy to see and not blurry. Do it. 
There you go. Perfect. And she looks like she's dancing to the music. Rip. Rip, Anka. So how's one's human going? I think Ali started playing it too. You have a giant kitty? Oh, Flynn showed me the, a giant cat. I'm assuming it's the same one. It's like interesting to me, but for some reason, and it's weird because it should appeal to me. Um, but it just doesn't. Like I've seen the building, the building looks pretty cool, but I'm just like, yeah. But yeah, Flint showed me the giant cat that he has how you can pet it. And I was just like, oh, that's really cute. It's hitting all the... Hey, that's fantastic. That's good. You needed something like that. You know, it kind of reminds me a bit of... Um, Vibewise of Secret World, maybe? I think maybe it's just too dark for me. I still haven't tried Power World. I don't even know if people still play if Secret Worlds are still a game or not. I know I enjoyed Secret Worlds when it came out. I liked that it was so different to everything else on the market. Well, Goofy Duck. Yeah, I mean when you're fighting leaning signs and giant buses. No, I when I mean like dark, I mean like actually like the overall color palette is really dark. Looks like it's really dark. It's going to be one of those games, I think, where I watch other people play it, but probably not get into it myself. But it's weird because, like I said, I was expecting that it would be something that I would be really interested in. The bustling took so many bullets, you just fucked off and let it stomp around. I mean, that's fair. Bus is just out there living its best life best stompy life. Okay, Buckman. Safe travels. I think I saw Flint try and shoot the bus. I thought I saw someone try and fight the bus. That does make sense though.
Ugh, I forgot how much this stuff stinks. This is like, they say it's rubberized. I don't know if it is. A rubberized base coat. If you are gonna use nail rapes, I recommend this stuff. It helps them stick on better for longer. Ick. No, I can't grab anything. <clears throat> it dries pretty fast. about power wash them. Oh, I think I broke game. Hello? Steam? Steam is opening as a clear window. Oh no, there he goes. That was a concern. Side. Oh, hey, actually, you guys might have an idea. If I want to access my Steam library from Dean's computer. What would be the easiest way of doing that? Just like sign him out and then sign it, sign in on mine. All right, I'll see if he's okay with that then. So I was like, I was honestly, I was like trying to decide if I should just suggest he make a new like Windows, like a new uh, user, Windows user account. I think. And that, so that way I'm not worried about like using uh seeing any of his private stuff. I thought I had it for Steam. Oh uh, what is Steam's 2FA? It was just seems okay. Oh, okay. You can choose to get it from this to the Steam app or by email. Yeah, I have the email when done. So would that work if I just did like a separate Windows uh, user account that would basically have set all the caches and everything empty, right? Because I figured that way I don't have to worry at all about fucking up any of his stuff. I've got... I have OBS on a thumb drive already, so that's not a problem. 
Um, but I was just like, eh, I would talk about it when we get up there, but... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't- I don't know if I could pick him up. I don't know, maybe I could. I can still be strong. <laughs> Good night, Ali. Have good sleeps. That one. That one. Okay, so we can use that on both sides. Yeah, we we're, we're doing all the things. I'm I'm all over the place today. I have zero attention span. Really, it's like, you know, one side for each. Um. Each hand, but my nails are small enough. That's it, see? Easy. Man, it's been a while since I had color on my nails. And then after you put them on like that, it's best to leave it for a couple of hours before you put a top coat on.
But yeah, they're nice and easy. And soon here... It's gonna be all black. Do we care? Do we care if it's all black? We don't care if it's all black. Let go! They're also kind of like a little bit stretchy as well. So if you've only got little... You know what? That makes perfect sense, Belle. Good job. These have got a little bit of stretch, so you can like kind of go like use a smaller one and stretch it out if you need to. I mean, it's easier. I'd much rather do someone else's because I can't really reach my own toes. I'm sure you'll have the 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 prettiest toes out there. The prettiest toes in all of Scotland. I should have gone and washed my hands before I put these on actually. There's a bit of lotion residue on, but The other thing I like with these is my nails are like super soft and bendy. They're like paper. So these add like an extra layer of of strength. So dark on short fingers. Oh, I you did the wrong one. Oh god. Fingers. Thank you. I'm so sad I didn't learn about nail wraps until like last year because honestly these things are so cool
So uh, I think I'm just gonna sink into the corner. Rip. This is my ghost. Next to be its ghost. place to leave her. Hey! Me, I guess. Ooh, I like these. I like this one a lot. Over halfway done. These are actually a lot more pretty than I thought they would be. silly tiny baby hands and tiny baby fingers. <sighs> So we finally finished season two of Picard and started on season three. I really enjoyed the ending of season two, but the middle of it was a slog.
But the ending was good. I enjoyed the ending. And then season three started and we kind of we're enjoying that. I've been on a bit of a Star Trek bender lately. It's always a shame though when you get a show and then there's just like a few episodes of just like oh primarily because I had a month trial of Paramount Plus and I'm just gonna get as much as I could out of that free trial. Yeah, I saw that. It looked really interesting. It looks like it had gone for like a like a just a different angle on on the sort of the horror thriller kind of thing. And the cast looked really good too. to put it on my list of shows I want to watch then. That sounds like something Flint would enjoy too. Then! My favorite thing about this is I don't have to wait for them to dry. Yeah, don't have to. I like I can use them straight away. They look better once they get a clear coat on them, but... <laughs> That's good, Mel. It's true, you never know. I just realized I need to pack... 
impression clips. Yeah, I was kind of intrigued by it, but I wasn't 100% sure, but if if you think I'd like it, then I would probably like it. I trust I trust recommendations by Mel. 100%. I mean, we watched Good Place twice through. Oh, and suddenly color change. Man, it is going to be so hard to sleep for the next two nights. <sighs> New color. A new player is into the room. Hi, Alpha. Um, it's a giant Dorito sleeping bag. Oh, we just did our nails. Um, it is the bottom part of a shawl, or the top, I guess, depending on which way you do it. The triangular shawl. We just we just did our nails. I don't know if you're still using the wraps. Just did ours. Yeah, giant Dorito sleeping bag. Yeah. Cool. It's a good one. You have a bees it on? Yay! I'm so glad that you uh, you enjoy them. I have a cute pink bee set. But my nails are a bit kind of weird length right now. I might trim them before I put a top coat on. But I feel fancy now. Yeah, this this yarn is really neat. It's it's self striping. So it just changes from one color to the next by itself. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to like cut any yarn or tie any knots. It's just one big continuous. They call it cake, which I think is a misnomer because it's it's not edible. Uh, but yeah, this is my this is my travel project that I was saving for when I'm in the car. Um, but I guess I had to start early because new project is exciting.
I mean, we had the an intense thunderstorm earlier today. It was so close. The thunder would start the second the lightning cracked. It was like right on top of us. And we saw like multiple like cloud to ground strikes. And then all of a sudden it was gone. One of the reasons I like this, um, yeah, it was pretty good. I like the stitch, just how you get like the little teeth down into the previous color. It's like a zipper. Yeah, it was a good thunderstorm. It made me jump a few times. Um, just from like how loud it was and it made everything here shake but I like thunderstorms as long as I don't cut off my power <laughs> and apparently the battery in my UPS is getting tired now Oh no. I hope everything's okay. Oh geez. Was not me. Okay, good. Yeah, we, we get power cuts enough during summer that I bought um, a UPS each for Flint and I for our computers just to give us time to, um, you know, save what we're doing and end stream and protect our computers from surges. But I think the batteries are starting to die on them. Because he's got the modem and the router on his one as well, which is handy. But yeah, we, um, our power company is really not reliable during the summer months with storms and rain. Weird because it's not like it's unusual for Florida. Could be worse, I guess. It could be like Texas power. Ice cream for dinner? That sounds like a fantastic idea, Toast. Storm cooled things down a little bit here, but got back up. You got a minion ice cream? Or you got minion ice cream? Okay. So like it's yellow and blue? That's so fun! I really want ice cream bars. 
had a hankering for ice cream bars for a while. Alright, we have ads starting in 30 seconds, so I'm going to stand up and stretch and get a break. Check on Princess Daisy. Yeah, you should also stand up and stretch and get a drink and have a wee. And then I will see you all back here in a few minutes. <sighs> Show off. So you're working on your sister's shawl?
Oh, wow. Holy crap. Tars, it's... <laughs> it's so yellow. <laughs> Oh, is that... Is that... Chubbs? Checking it out in the corner there? <laughs> He's like, what's this? <laughs> it's so yellow, I love it. What a fun ice cream. I had to double check to see what it was at first. Marshmallow flavor with chocolate chips, yellow and blue sprinkles. Amazing. Perfect. Yeah, I have some like chocolate ice cream in the freezer. How long until I regret starting such a boring, a pattern with such a boring repetition? And then I'd be like, I'll just throw in a random row of shells or change the stitch or something Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, you know, like, just watching TV. It's just that I got greedy to start it early. But my, my justification for that is that this is going to be much easier to work on in the car if I've got a good amount of bulk to hold on to. Whereas when it's just like a little teeny tiny triangle, it was kind of tricky. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I just tossed my, uh, my compression gloves, or keep here my compression gloves in the box too randomly glanced over and I was like oh I should take some of those Rayum was uh, saying I might get a chance to meet um and squeakers as well, which would be fun. More friends to me.
I'm still not totally sold on the colors on this. I'll say this one particular nail shape is bothering me immensely. That's better. Freaking hang nails, man. Oh, my nose is H.E. You just found lead? Nice! That means you could make, if you find quartz, you can make lead windows. <laughs> oh my god, my nose! Now you're gonna find it everywhere. I don't know, the, the main thing I end up getting lead for is to make the cute uh, leaded windows. I'm not sure what else it's good for. You still need some quartz, but that's not so bad. The leaded windows are precious, though our our local vintage story modder uh, has made those windows, but without the the lead on them, so they're just like flat window panes, and they look so good. Very clever.
I like this gray at the bottom. The color doesn't quite come through on camera. Or maybe it does. It's like a nice gray blue, like slate gray. I was hoping this would be more browns, to be honest. I almost got one that was like lots of blues too. Maybe if I like this one, I can make myself un Look, I haven't even got halfway through this and I'm already planning the next one, for fuck's sake. Ooh, wait, I just had a thought. Mm. That game Terror Escape. I can't release content before the date, but I can still play it. So maybe if I get some time tomorrow, I could record a little gameplay of it. And then just post it to go up on Wednesday. Maybe. Yeah. I have my moments. If I remember. For some reason though, I don't know why. But recording gameplay for YouTube feels so fucking weird and strange to me. And if I... Like I tried to do some, I can't remember what game it was. I tried to do some recording with my webcam and I didn't know where to look or what to do. I had no idea what to do with my hands. But I don't need, I don't, I don't need a webcam for that. Because I do like, like if someone, if a dev gives me a key, I do like to try and do content as close to the date as I can. Just, you know a courtesy even though there's no expectations um because they're offering to give me some keys for giveaways if i could do coverage but i i don't know that i can honestly say that because i i know i'll be able to stream from dean's computer but i don't know when that's gonna be so that's probably the best way of getting some content out there. If I just do it as a let's play, then I don't have to worry about trying to record voiceover or anything. Just like the first couple of hours. And then I can just pretend that I'm talking to someone. And then I'll just, it'll be like I'm streaming on an empty stream day. So there is some appeal, to me anyway, of gameplay, like recorded gameplay with no commentary. Just like, this is the game. No one going, oh, that's interesting. Or swearing or making comparisons. Just playing the damn game. Yeah. Yeah, I find people very distracting. <laughs> but yeah, this game looks really interesting. I'm very intrigued by it. It's called Terrascape. Uh, T E R R A, not terror, it sounds scary. I'm 
and it's uh, been published by Stray Fawn, which are the same people who did The Wandering Village, which I really enjoyed. As well as the other thing is, if I record it without... Yeah. It kind of, initially, the appearance of it reminded me of... Uh, I don't know if you remember that game Dwarf Romantic that I played, that was like a tile, a tile game. Yeah, it kind of reminded me a bit of that, which got my initial attention, and then I saw the publisher. And then I realized it was a city builder and I was like, oh, fuck, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But yeah, if I record it without any over without any dialogue, then I can always like go back and use the footage as well. <laughs> and then it'll be like, I'm just playing the game for fun. I really enjoyed Dwarf Romantic. The other one that I really enjoyed lately, uh, it was so good I can't remember the name. What was it? Ick. What was it? Date edit, no, actually that'll work. Date edit to library. Oh, I just realized I haven't played that. Preserve. That was one I really enjoyed too. That was really relaxing and super pretty. There's only a, a demo of it right now, but I... I played there for a few hours and I could have easily have played more. I think that's one that Pud might enjoy actually with all the little critters because you can pet the critters. So it's got the, it's pretty, but it requires a little bit of braining and you can pet things. I don't know if it can be used for anything else. Don't forget, there's a handbook in game. So if you have your bag open and you mouse over a material and then hit H, I think it'll bring up the relevant handbook page. But I'm also quite happy for you to ask questions. I just realized I'm not I'm not trying to make you stop asking questions because I like talking about the game. But just a handy tip that you can look things up easy.
Man, I have a weird range of games installed right now. Okay, that's good. And I keep waiting for... Sean Murray from No Man's Sky to start more shenanigans. Everyone thinks that they're about to announce the Light No Fire. Like something to do with Light No Fire. And I'm desperately hoping that's the case. But also it's probably more likely that it's just going to be another update or expedition for No Man's Sky. But hope is free. Yeah, I've I saw that a few I've seen that a few places and it's like interesting I saw another post where someone was like wouldn't it be funny if he does like the next two next two pieces of the globe and then he, then he, he did and everyone's like what do you know <laughs> I'm like light no fire please I so I'm so ready for that game. So ready. I feel like they've learned their lesson from No Man's Sky in terms of like over promising. I am very ready for No Man's Skyrim. Yes, that too. Because even the like the the trailer they put out, they said wasn't like a hundred percent because they were using some assets from No Man's Sky for it. And you could totally see that in like the the stances and the postures for some of the characters. Like one of them was clearly just a reskinned gag. So it's it's definitely gonna be interesting. That's fair. I'm just looking for I think my anticipation is founded from the fact that I have enjoyed No Man's Sky for so long that and I liked um, their other game. I can't remember what it was. There was another cute little game that they did. I can't, ha I just, I feel like I'm going to enjoy anything they publish. The Last Campfire. Very much not uh, No Man's Sky ish, but it's such a beautiful game and so well written. It is, yeah.
every now and then I get like a bit miffed and then I realize that I have like when f when Flint bought me No Man's Sky he got it on sale for 30 bucks and I have over a thousand hours of game time in it like even if I never play it again I got a really fucking good deal out of that game <laughs> like it so much happiness and so much fun and so much pleasure from it that it's totally okay if I never play it again. Oh, Flint switched over to Once Human. After Ali's gone to bed though. seem like there's I just suppose I said they've been working on it for like five years right it doesn't seem like that would give enough time for the hype to you know do its thing oh fuck I forgot about satisfactory god damn it beard Dagnabbit! I'm gonna put that in my diary so I don't forget. Again. <laughs> August 27th. I didn't. I'm kind of kicking myself. I didn't apply for the creator con create a program for it for Core Keeper. Flint and I played a fuckload of it. August 27th for Core Keeper. And then September 10th. Satisfactory is good. Wait, I I can finish sentences. So Flint and I originally played Core Keeper through Dare Drop. And normally when we do a game, you know, through Dare Drop, we'll just like do the requisite stuff and that's it. But we kept on playing. And we've come back to it a couple of times. I wasn't, I haven't played, I think, since they added the desert biome. It's, isn't it so much fun? I love that too. The music is beautiful. Okay. So, August 27th. Well, I mean, that's like after I get back from Ohio.
I have the uh the new Avatar DLC that I'm supposed to make content for at some point too. <laughs> I don't know how. I didn't realize it wasn't gonna drop until the day I was leaving. So that's fun. I keep forgetting to use my bloody journal. It's there for a reason, Dal. Use it. I like using the glowy flowers to make pretty garden. Actually, I, I think when Cool Keeper first dropped, they were rewarding people uh, on Deirdrop with like Steam gift cards. Um, and so you see, t Flint and I teamed up and knocked out a bunch of them. There were some that were like, get one of every fish. Uh, so we did a whole lot of fishing. I figured if they were going to announce anything about Light No Fire, they would probably just be what, like another trailer or something, like a a proper trailer with with game assets or launch of a website or, or something. I don't know, I'm not conversant with bees at all. Perhaps they go dormant when it's cold?
I'm really enjoying this playlist today. I love these little like random splodges of other colors where the fibers have got mixed. Now I'm wondering what else is coming up that I've completely missed. You know we're going to be doing Satisfactory when it drops. Hi Tweety Bird, how you doing? For joining us. Love Tweety Bird? Perfect. I used to like watching uh, Tweety and Sylvester cartoons when I was little. We had them. My granddad had a bunch of Tom and Jerry and Tweety and Sylvester uh, videotapes that we would sit down and watch together. I'm sure I learned some important lessons from it, but I have no idea what they were. Never underestimate the small guy, I guess. Looking back on it now, it's like, holy crap, like, they are dark. Like, Tom and Jerry is savage. I mean, there's also a lot of really problematic issues, but it's so brutal. And yet all of these people got their knickers in a twist about uh, Red and Stimpy. I'm like, the only difference at least about the the kids version of Red and Stimpy is that the cartoon was grotesque. It's just as terrifying story-wise. Like so much violence and subterfuge. <laughs> I mean, even with sound effects, it's carnage.
But no, my grand had always had that that darker sense of humor. I think that's where I got mine from. So we would just sit down and just like watch these old tapes. Oh, we had I don't know how many cassettes. They had like yellow covers. It was like a box set, I think. And we would just watch them over and over again. And grandma would just get so tired. I don't think I've seen that episode, but just the bros, I guess. Poor Tom and Jerry. I don't, know, I don't remember watching cartoons before school, but I remember watching Batman after school. Very specific. I have very specific memories tied to that of certain uh, smells and like lighting and stuff to do with watching Batman because I would always go to my friend's I would go to my friend's house after school for a few minutes and we'd watch Batman and I'd eat all their cookies and then I'd go home. <laughs> but his home had a very distinctive smell. It wasn't bad. I think it might have been their like laundry or their, their cleaning products. But it just like ties up with watching. This is like the, old, the Batman animated series. So this is like early 90s I think Ninja Turtles was on around then too but it was Batman the animated series that I remember the most sit there and eat chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. yes there's certain smells I was the same there's uh when I lived in London I was playing the heck out of Sims 2 and I had scented candles in my room that would kind of counter the smell of the cigarette smoke because I wasn't technically supposed to be smoking in my flat and every now and then I'll catch a whiff of the similar fragrance and I'm just like Sims 2 yeah that's it Baron it's like a really specific smell it's crazy right how the brain does that with fragrances it was a really nice smelling candle, but it was like an air freshener candle. It turned out it was fine that I smoked in my flat. I never asked though. Until one day the landlord turned up and I answered the door with a cigarette in my hand and he didn't say anything and I'm like, well, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, someone uh I don't smell I mean I don't go out very often, I guess I don't smell cigarette smoke that often, but someone was smoking I don't know if it was just vaguely or if someone was smoking specifically what I used to, but I was just like, huh. And it reminded me of Skyrim because when I was playing Skyrim, it would, the loading screens would take so long that that's when I'd stop and roll a cigarette. 
And so when I was playing Skyrim, I would smoke a lot because <laughs> there were a lot of loading screens. No, never. I had a, f a friend back home in New Zealand who was, uh, who had clove cigarettes as part of his like goth persona. And honestly, I hated the smell of it. Just, it was too strong. I started, <laughs> yeah, I or I, I got the UA. Yeah, they're just, just awful. Like, clove oil, fantastic as a local, like, a topical anesthetic for toothaches. That's it. But no, I started smoking at 15. I started smoking, I think it was called Rothmans. The brands aren't even here, I don't think. Um, and But then I switched to, like, tobacco. So I'd, like, roll your own cigarettes. Yeah. I'm the same. Um... And then when I moved here, I got Flint onto making roll your own because they were so much cheaper. He used to smoke Winston's, I think. But the weird thing is, I haven't smoked in years. Like, I don't know how long. I don't know how long ago. Like, it was probably like nine or ten years ago that I stopped smoking. And most of the time, it's just, I can't even handle the smell of a smoke now. But the other day, I smelled it, and I was like, oh, man, I don't know why. It just, like, it, it like, kicked a, pushed a button in my brain, and I was like, man, I really wish I could have a smoke right now. I'm glad I don't, though. I can't afford it anyway. <laughs> it's too fucking expensive. Cool. See, all the, the brands here are, are different to the ones that I'm familiar with. Yeah, it's, see, actually it's probably closer to 10 years. I know I stopped smoking on a Christmas, on Christmas. That was my gift to myself. God, this sounds so fucking holier than thou. Um, and honestly, I was fine. I think I may have after I after I told myself I was done. I think I had two more, um, and that was when my grandma died, uh, and that was it. But I do remember uh, when I was in Virginia, actually. Uh, yeah, I was in Virginia when I when I was in when I was traveling across the states the first time, and I was smoking quite heavily, which is pretty standard for anyone in hospitality. And I ran out of tobacco. And my friend was like, "I know just the place," and he took me to a a cigar shop that had like bulk bins of tobacco but pipes as well like pipes and cigarettes and it was amazing like the smell of it you could smell they had um it reminded me of my granddad he because my granddad used to smoke a pipe but they had that that sort of port like that really rich sweet smell of like port infused tobacco yeah and i walked in and i just got hit with that smell and I, I told the guy that I wanted, you know, I, wa I wanted a bag of, of cigarette tobacco. Um, and we went through like different like shreds and stuff. Like it was a really fancy shop. And he, he was kind of like a bit standoffish. And when I said I needed papers too, and he's like, oh, do you need a rolling machine? I said, no, no, I just roll by hand. And he was like, I don't know. He was like skeptical of my abilities. So he's like, well, if you want to, do you want to try the tobacco first? So I like rolled a cigarette in the store to try the tobacco. This was in a mall, but because it was a cigar lounge, I think that it was okay to smoke in there. And then as soon as he saw that I could roll a cigarette, he was like, oh yeah. And then he like took me out the back and there was this full on like 
like old school with like dark leather and like red walls and bookshelves and like mahogany furniture. I was like, what is this place? And this shopping mall. And it was the nicest tobacco I ever had. It was like, I think it was basically like no additives. It was just like fresh tobacco. Fre well, fresh dried tobacco. It was, but the smell was heavenly. It smelled like, I don't know, man, it smells like raisins. Yeah. So this was like mid to mid late 2000s. I didn't even know that was a thing. But it was literally like a Westfield mall in like Virginia somewhere. And then all of a sudden you're in like. It felt like I'd gone back to like the 40s <laughs> or earlier. Like I'd got inducted into some old man's club because I could roll a cigarette. But yeah, the, the smell of the smell of pipe tobacco. It's so good. But yeah, my my granddad used to smoke a pipe. Um. He cheeky shit. He used to steal my tobacco. He he stopped smoking um, when I was quite young, but I still have really firm memories of him smoking pipe and like, you know, tapping it on the ashtray to loosen up the ashes and stuff. And uh, every now and then when I got older, he knew, like he knew I smoked, like I, I was allowed to smoke in the back room and he, you know, there was an ashtray there for me. Every now and then I'd accidentally leave my cigarettes behind my tobacco and I'd come back the next week and I'd be like, did I leave my tobacco here? And he's like, no. <laughs> like, did you nick my tobacco again? He's like, no. Oh God. I... I got put off cigars um, at, when working in bars because my my main bar that I had it was like a like a it was a really large bar and the actual bar shape was like that with like all the beer kegs along each side it was the weirdest shape and then you'd have like bar stalls around the corner. The problem was the front door was down here and all the wind would come in. So people would sit right in these bar stalls, smoking cigars. And if you were anywhere behind the bar, you'd just get a face full of tobacco smoke, of cigar smoke. Like cigarette smoke wasn't so bad, but the cigar smoke, so strong. It would just like, <sighs> hated it so much stupid bar I don't remember the layout for it all but so ugh yeah no these were yeah they were not good cigars <laughs> it was it was so smelly no you'd go home even as a smoker I'd go home and like my hair was just like limp with like ugh. oh we're in an ad break right now I'm not taking a break, but it was, it was rough. I don't miss that. When, uh, when they changed the smoking laws in New Zealand, um, and they made it, uh, illegal to smoke inside bars and stuff. It was such a strange transition. The most obvious one being all of a sudden, everyone's body odor was so much more noticeable because it wasn't hidden behind cigarette smoke. And we had a lot of quite aromatic customers, apparently. Hi, AJ. 
Yeah, I remember. I remember uh, in New Orleans. I was there in 2007, and I was at a a bar called International House of Beer or something like that. And it was like, technically, we're not supposed to be able to smoke, but here's an ashtray. Just like put it behind the counter when you're done, so no one can see it. And I was like, all right, <laughs> sure. Honestly, though, it was nice when they made the change. Like, going from being in that environment where it was just smoke constantly and then having it taken away, it felt so much better. Well, you used to work as a door, like on the door, right? You probably had just as much of a face full of cigarette smoke and shit. Yeah. It, it was it was nice not getting that because people would genuinely, honestly, stand at the bar ordering your drink while smoking, which is fine, but they would blow smoke in your face, which is rude, in, like incredibly rude and disgusting. Whether you're a smoker or not. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you were. I bet. I always enjoyed talking to bouncers. They always had interesting stories to tell. I made friends with the bouncers. We didn't have bouncers in my main bar. But there, there was like a nightclub across the road that had door staff. And so... I made a point of knowing who they were and getting to know them so that they were like, if you need help, yell out. It's like, we're not your door staff, but if you get stuck, let us know. And we actually did need their help a couple of times. And it was fantastic knowing I could literally just like yell out and be like, oi, Richard. And he'd like come over. Love door staff. Amazing people. Oh, you're a dive bar? Yeah, mine was in like side street of the city, but it was. <clears throat> That's the best, man. You get the best drinks, the most curious beers, and, you know, regulars. It's the regulars that make a bar. I kind of I miss the social aspect of Hospo but I don't think I'd ever want to get back into it I mean I don't think I could do it right now I don't I don't have the the physical capacity for it but I kind of miss that you miss <laughs> I had a look on um, Google Maps and my bar, my my English bar it was called the Courtney Arms. I don't even think it's there anymore. It was sold. But my other ones are probably still there. I hated karaoke. <laughs> We're having to listen to other people's karaoke. But no, my favorite thing was like the camaraderie amongst hospo staff. So like we'd all finish work. Like legally all bars had to be closed at 3 a.m. So we all called last drinks at 2. And that gave time for everyone to get the fuck out and get the cleaning done. And then you had to be out within a half an hour of closing time. So you get out at 3.30. So it's 
so there was nowhere else open. The only place it was open was a strip bar. They had a special license to go until 6 a.m. So if you went into the strip bar between like four and six, it would just be full of hospitality staff. The girls weren't even dancing. They were, we were all just like hanging out chatting and it was just like the best, cause you just like share, share gossip and like stories of like who did what and the dumb shit the customers would do. And it was just a really neat little sense of community in like the most bizarre location. Yeah, yeah, it's, you're showing off with the bouncer. You can't just go outside when you're a thing. Yeah. But I, I definitely don't think I have it in me to do that anymore. I can't even stay awake that long anymore. I think I would die. But there was definitely a certain, I don't know, a sense of community with the hospitality workers for sure. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is they had an easy night of it at the strip bar if we were all went in because everyone in the hospital would just like pitch in. So we, you know, when it came to closing up the strip bar, everyone would like, you know, help wipe tables down and put up chairs and shit. Uh, see, I didn't have to deal with that. Thankfully. So much drama. It was weird. Like our, our bar was pretty quiet. It was like an English, it was an English themed bar. And it was just, it was just a pub, you know? There wasn't anything particularly fancy about it. It had, you know, a bunch of beers on tap, played football. So we never really had anything big or exciting going on. The only time we had a big drama was uh, when I was assaulted. <laughs> And I was assaulted by a guy because I asked him to leave the bar after he'd finished his drink uh, because him and his mates were creeping on some girls who were just trying to play pool. And uh, that was when Richard from across the road came in handy, knowing the bouncers from across the road. Uh, yeah, this guy was just, these girls were playing pool and this young guy was just like hovering and making comments and just being kind of creepy and lurky. And they came up to me and said, look, this guy is causing issues. And obviously I'm going to do something about it. So I said to them, it's like, look, I want you to leave, but you can finish your drinks. But when you finish, can you please just move on? Because I didn't want to start shit. Two of the guys there, perfectly fine, and we're like, yep, sure, sweet ass, no worries. The guy who was causing the problem picks up his Heineken bottle. Now, this is one of the big Heineken bottles, you know, like, a big fucking Heineken bottle. Lifts it up and takes a swing at me. One of my regulars saw this happen. She grabbed me and pulled me out of the way. Otherwise, it would have conked me on the head. And then... He tried to pull me back. He dislocated my shoulder, trying to pull me back towards him so he could take another swing at me. And then shit just went fucking nuts because, you know, regulars in a bar are kind of territorial, as I'm sure you all know. So they just like piled on these guys. One of my girls went out to get the bar staff, uh, the Richard and the other bouncers from across the road. The bouncers basically picked this guy up and like threw him down the stairs out of the door. Yeah, my regulars, they they were illegals. <laughs> um, so they basically formed like a protective ring around the staff. And then as soon as the cops turned up, they were out the back door. Um. This fucking guy, man. 
literally like hey could you you know just when you finish your drink move on and he got sand on his vagina about it go figure but the dick dickhead like he set himself up because we didn't have cameras at the time so there was no proof of the assault or the battery i should say because he actually did try and hit he he hurt me i had to go off work for six weeks they had a the police went out looking for him he resisted arrest and then tried to assault a police officer and then the cops called me in as a witness on to identify him the guy was fucked <laughs> like absolute idiot as soon as he saw me turn up uh, outside the courthouse he changed his plea to guilty because he knew exactly what had done he was trying to say that he was you know like misidentified or something <laughs> and detective called me back and he's like as soon as he saw you there he's like nah and but yeah so I had like one night where like all the drama that everyone was talking about was like this dumb ass in my bar. Yeah. <laughs> but the uh, the frustrating thing with that, uh, so I don't know if you heard that story uh, that Molly was talking about bad when she was saying that she stepped in uh, at that, that nightclub. That's like, that's what went through my head when she was telling the story, the shit that I'd gone through. Um, the frustrating thing is, I, like I said, I was signed off work for six weeks because my arm was dislocated. Like, you can't do hospo if you can't, you know, lift a tray of glasses or pull a pint or, you know, sweep the floor. I was basically useless. And so instead, I had to go to health and safety retraining. My company decided that I was at fault. I wanted me to get retrained in conflict resolution. And at the end of it, they said, now that you've learned all that you have, what would you have done differently in the same situation? And they were really mad when I said nothing because I was fucking right. I, I got in trouble. Yes. Fuck it, our health and safety officer. Her name was Kath. Kath? Kathy. And I loathed her. She was like the stereotypical health and safety person that you see on a sitcom. She would literally walk around with like a hard hat and a clipboard, like looking at things and going, hmm. It's like, maybe what I would have done is been more aggressive in telling the guys to get out of the bar and just take the drinks off them and tell them to get the fuck out. What I did push for, though, at that was uh, we obviously need security cameras. <laughs> but that was exciting. The, uh, the head office did send, like, uh, some thank yous to the guys who helped me out, though. The, a family, it was a group of British lads from Manchester and their city who were doing, they were, like, sewage workers. They laid, like, sewage pipes and stuff. And they always sat at the corner of the bar. And... They were very chatty and, and kind and very sensible. They always used a service called Dial a Driver when they had too much to drink. But I knew I could, like, look after them. Yeah, right, yes. Very much so. It was, it was weird. The worst thing was, I never thought I did anything wrong until the company said, oh, hey, what did you do wrong? I thought I did okay.
I was pretty fucking confident. I was manager of the fucking bar. Actually, I think it was assistant manager at the time. I ended up managing that bar for them. The funny thing was we had during a Rugby World Cup event, which is huge in New Zealand. It's like a uh, Super Bowl, not quite to the same scale, but as important. And the company that we'd hired to work on the door was short staffed. So I went in on my off shift to help work on the door. And the company, the woman who owned the door staff company asked if I wanted to go and work for her because I did such a good job of conflict de-escalation. I'm like, I should have jumped ship right then. I was a lot smaller then, but I had so much sass. I was like physically half the size, but like so much more sass and median. I was like ready to fight fucking anyone. Could have been like the littlest door person ever. Well, not really, but I'd do it. I'd take on anyone. I didn't care who you were. I used to kick TV stars out of my bar. The ones who were like, do, do you know who I am? Because they'd been in like three episodes of a soap opera. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> there was a whole lot of babble. I'm sorry. I do put that my my current discomfort of physical altercations down to that particular incident though. I did start late. I was like, how is it already 8.30? I started late because of errands and thunderstorms. I think in the next, I don't need to wait. I think in the next ad break, I need to hop, switch off crafting. Otherwise my hands are gonna be too sore to do stuff tomorrow. Last week, I finished off that crocheted bee and I did too much and my hands were really sore the day after. So then I have to decide what to change to. I 
be a hole in the middle of the skein. are so itchy at the moment. These rows are getting longer. That's the problem with working in a triangle. Each row is longer than the first. Oh my gosh, how did we let things get this far? In some states, I think we might be legally married at this point. Point one eight oh. crazy months. Wow, love you, Del. Rabbit happy <laughs> sheep, rabbit happy sheep, rabbit happy sheep. We we basically are, yeah, you're right, Revy. Thank you. 18 months on an 18 month streak. That's amazing. Thank you. How you doing? I'm trying to to mull over while well, mulling over what I want to switch over to. Game of Munchkin got out of hand, but that sounds ominous. I was just regaling chat with fond memories from hospitality. Vintage power world of washing. Wait, I can't. I have mentioned power wash some a couple of times today, haven't I? 
Flint's like, you keep on talking about the game, you obviously want to play the game. WRC did finish downloading last night. So I could play rally games too. Hey, I did two chains here. <laughs> oh boy. Lessons learned. How do we feel about hopping over to some power wash sim? Was that your attempt to power wash me first? Like, I'm tempted to keep on crocheting, but I know my hands will get sorry, keep going because I can feel the resistance starting. Pretty good progress there. That's awesome. Thanks, Revy. It's a nice triangle. They didn't say no, it didn't. It's fine. It's a little teeny tiny shawl. We did our nails today too. It is the right size for a plushie. Yeah, we did them on stream. I have galaxy nails. It's we did enough that we now have a a cave in the middle of the uh, game. I do not expect that to happen yet. Let's, uh, this is, yeah, this is the vacations game. It'll go a lot slower very soon. Like, a lot slower. Let me go this way. Oh you fit, no, it won't be half gone before I leave. I probably won't do any more crochet and between now and when I go because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of laundry and packing 
Um, and then I'll probably be watching something with Blunt just to sort of while away our last hours together. You know? You do. Where is my lift? Now I have to disconnect the camera. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Sometimes when I disconnect my crafting camera, it makes my main camera mad. <coughs> yes, it's fine. This. Right off. Right off. Oh, that's better. One of my favorite things about streaming is when you end the stream and you turn off all the lights. And then your eyes are just like, oh god, thank you. I don't think I'm going to put my green screen up. We're just going to have to... Yeah, mine are, are not on... Mine have physical switches and can't even really go into a timer, unfortunately. But yeah, I was like, turn turn off the lights. I was like, oh. Now I have to move things. Moving the windows. So turn off full height dogs. Move you over here. this I've got so much better at like switching between projects yes. oh. all right oh I'm rich gaming game capture oh Okay, uh, is that going to be, yeah, it'll be fine. That'll be okay in there. <laughs> All right, Bill. Yeah, it's late for you. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks for popping in. Is it, uh, my streams for the next month are going to be off schedule, uh, so... Uh, unless you're in discord no that was not the right button uh here um or uh, keep an eye out on social or you can just pop in and check but i see they're going to be kind of all over the place but also pattern <laughs> it's fun i it was a purple button I was like, it's a purple button. It's the right button. It's not the right. It wasn't the right button. Okay, yeah, I did it. Have a good sleep. Good night, Bill. Index. Desktop. Chat overlay. Here it is. Is that in the right window? is is it thing thing it 
We're just pushing all the buttons today. Wow, that was a very large capybara. It's a unicorn on my head! I think I pushed the button too long, and now it's stopped. Oh, there it is! Oh no! Pusheen is doing something weird to the Sadie Bar. Awkward. Uh, anyway... Okay. Well now I'm playing games, I can put a top coat on. It's been a couple of hours since I did that. Almost instantly looks better. It stinks. Nail varnish. Thanks. I'm just getting a clear coat on these before I forget. And then these will last me a couple of weeks now. Perfect. They already look better. Shiny. Oh, you can't really see. Shiny. Now I just have to not pick my nose for a few minutes. Pretty sure I already bumped something. Oh right, we were in the White Rabbit's house. Seems awfully loud to me. Oh, because I have the game volume up super loud. Okay. So bright. Okay. So we finished this area in here. Can't remember what it was specifically that I was working. I was like really goal oriented before, like doing one like little thing at a time. Cookie jar has feet.
I love how everything's melty in here. All right, co-op is on. If, what? If anyone fancies what joining. Just get carrots sitting in pots. Oh, I like that one with the, the mushrooms. Put recognized your ice cream. What is a sweet fiend? I'm curious what exactly this it's like sprinkles like someone blew up a giant donut with pink sprinkles
seems very forgiving. See, everything seems like unreasonably loud to me. <coughs> Thank you. I'm gonna turn the game down a little more. It's an enclave. I've not really been paying attention to the text messages, but I probably should if I don't know what's going on.
Hmm. I kind of, uh, is it this? Oh yeah, there we go. I love that table so much. So the cabins are all individuals too, huh? Oh, that's better. Game volume at 2%. I feel like I can actually hear things now. Hit with a big sleepy.
The white rabbit's doing better on his little plot of land than some idiot from outer space. We have somehow already uh, an ad break coming. Uh, so stand up, stretch, have a wee, get a drink. I'll do the same, and I'll see you in a few minutes.
Hello? Hi. I stood up and I moved my legs. I went out to the kitchen. You got a cookie? Good job. Took out some trash from my room so I wouldn't have to do it later. forget about the underneath. I do have a big box full of snacks that needs to be addressed. such a cute house. 